These files are property of the Republic Archives. Possession of these files by unauthorized individuals is prohibited by law, under Act 190. If you are an unauthorized individual in possession of these files, we heavily advise you return them to your local branch of the Interplanetary Police Force under threat of 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 Records from the Reva, Episode 5, Crush Landing. Written by Boudicca Eads and Nolan Edward Finley. No, Mum. I'm fine. Are you sure? Because, Catherine, I worry about you. You've always stretched yourself so thin, and I'm proud of you for getting Captain. Chief. Yes, Chief. But, well, I wouldn't want you to bite off more than you can chew. I'm fine, Mum. I'm helping people up here. I'm bringing progress to the world. If you say so. Look, I can't stay long. Really? I've got my next shift in a moment, but I promise to send you something nice for your birthday. Thanks, Mum. You you really don't... Yes, I do. No arguments. You've borne the brunt of, well, of me. And because of that, your brother can get all the nice things you didn't have. Just let me spoil you. Just once a year. Fine. Thank you, dear. I forgot to ask, uh, how are things with that lane? I, um, we broke up. Remember? No, I didn't. Sorry, my dear. Did they break your heart? No, Mum. If anything, I broke theirs. Can't say I'm surprised. Now, remember. Be good and stay out of trouble. I know. Honestly, sometimes I don't think you've ever met me, Mum. I just have to check. Right. Goodbye. Love you lots. Bye. We're lucky I don't share a room with anyone, huh? <laughs> Morning, babe. That bun still looks pretty nasty. Did... did I really do that? What do you mean? Yes, you, you, you did that. I, um... Uh, could, could you... could you let go of me? Yeah, I guess. What, what's wrong? Nothing, I just... Sorry, I don't think this was a good idea. And yeah, this was a mistake. I... can I leave? Um... Never mind, look, sorry, I just really need to... Shit, that's my mum. We must have missed comm time. I've, I've really got to go. Look, I'm sorry, we'll talk about this later. Yeah? What do you want? I've made a terrible mistake. Oh my god. What did, what did your mum say? Oh, no, it's nothing. I haven't even spoken to her yet. Oh, good. Um, what is it then? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Oh, come on. It can't be that bad. Mm-hmm. It'll be fine. I had sex with AJ. Oh. Do you still like him then? No. No. Uh, well, was it at least good? No. What? 
No, okay, it was shit. I mean, oh, and I couldn't stop panicking. Like, oh, where does this go? Why are you grabbing me there? It's my foot up your ass. Um, right. Well, you know, your first time isn't meant to be great. The first few times, really. Oh, I know, but oh, it wasn't just that. It, I, I, oh, I don't know if I ever want to have sex again. <laughs> now you're just being dramatic. I am a brilliant actress. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, God. And my mind kept wondering, like, I was trying to distract myself, which is weird. I mean, he's hot. Maybe he just doesn't do it for me. He is hot, right? Like, objectively, he's got the muscles and that macho aesthetic. You think he's hot. Well, yeah, but I Ingrid, I'm not the one who just had sex with him. Don't remind me. Hey, wanna head down to breakfast? I bet Jacob's already there. Of course, my friend, of course, but okay. Yeah? Don't, I'm not sure I'm ready to talk about this with other people. Oh, no, don't worry. I wasn't gonna tell anyone, but well, I can't say AJ will do the same. Oh Lord, help me. What you doing? Nothing. You know, just living a fabulous night, life. Of course, of course. Hey. Ooh, what's happening here? I'd like that back, please. I will, I just... Uh-huh. <laughs> Calm down, I... Give it back. Okay, okay. Here. I'm really sorry, it was meant to be a joke. It's okay. Right. Um... Look, if you have to know... Yes? We're planning a party for you. Jacob! Wait, damn. Oh, why did you tell me? You reap what you sow. Oh, come on. That's not fair. <laughs> it is if I say so. Uh... We just thought, since you got chief, and, you know, since you ignored your own birthday... I didn't ignore it. I was just busy. Uh-huh. And since you have no event skills... We'd arrange a little soiree tonight. Aww, thank you. Are you gonna tell her the other news? Oh, all right. What? I've got a date. You do? You do? Oh my god, Jacob, that's amazing! Yeah, hopefully. I thought there weren't any other gay guys on the Reaver. You always say there aren't. <laughs> there aren't. So? But there are on the Pacifica. <whistles> Those guys are fine as fuck. Do you have a picture? Can we see him? Uh, if you want. We do want. Okay, hand the picture over. Come on. Oh, wow. He is hot. Please tell me you're going to kiss this fabulous man at the party, because you deserve it. I can only hope. Have you planned your outfit? Uh, um... Please let me help you. I'm serious. Our baby's all grown up. Baby? We're so taller than you. Shut up, you child. Let Ingrid scheme. <laughs> Really, I'm sorry about earlier. I got overexcited. Uh, it's, it's fine. Really, it's fine. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, honestly, it's fine. Oh, Ren detected. About to enter the cafeteria. Ah, uh, no! What do I do? Do I look okay, Ingrid? Hang on. You look great. Whatever happened to... Oh, it's not a crush. Not nothing, it's not. Clearly. I can't like him, okay? It's mean to... Uh, yeah, I totally agree. I mean, I, it's crazy. It's crazy, right? Exactly. And oh, hey, Ren. What are you doing? You a favor. 
What's up, guys? How's it going? Uh, good. Yeah. How, how are you? How did you sleep? <laughs> All right. Great. Actually, I have something for you. For, for me? Well, yeah. I did just say that, right? Uh, uh, yeah. So sorry. Do me a favor, though. Sure. Open it alone. Okay. Well, I gotta go, guys. This ship won't fly itself. Bye. Thank you. No problem. See ya. Have fun. Bye. Well, that was embarrassing. Not a crush, huh? Shut up. <laughs> oh, hey, sorry. You look nice. Thanks. <sighs> Someone's jealous. I'm not. Leave me alone. So? Are you gonna open it then? Well, he said to open it alone. Come on, we won't judge. Please. Oh, fine. Just don't tell him. Cross my heart. Hope to die. All right. Oh. What is it? Let me see. It's a chip. A chip. Oh, yeah, maybe he's made you a playlist. Maybe. I doubt it. Why would he? Okay. A boy makes you a mixtape and you're still wondering if he likes you. I'm not. I'm just being reasonable. Yeah, you are being reasonable. Reasonably dumb. Dai, I'll have you know I'm a very clever person. Just not at the moment. Uh-huh. So, shall we load it up? Uh, um... Is it okay if I look at it without you? It just feels a little... personal. Yeah, yeah, sure. Just tell us what it is, okay? We want the gossip. Always. Wait! Yeah? Maybe wait a bit? You know, it's only been a couple of weeks since you and Lane broke up, and... Well, just give it some time. Don't upset them all. I won't. Now, seriously, what are you going to wear? Communication request from General Krikorian of the Galactic Military. Ah, oh, yes. Already? Ah, uh, of course. Accept. Affirmative. Establishing connection. Ah, General Krikorian. It's an honour to see you. Hmm, is it? Well, I only mean... Never uh, mind. <laughs> How are you, old pal? Decent enough, Frank. Decent enough. Waiting to get off of this ship. Good to know. That's actually what I need to speak to you about. Are you sure your office is secure? No one listening in? <laughs> <laughs> Only the usual. Splendid. I've been asked to inform you of a terrorist threat aboard your ship. Terrorists? Aboard the Reaver? Impossible. Every member is background checked and... and... Ah, but unfortunately that is the case. We've tracked a group of rebels, traitorous scoundrels, onto your ship, but no further. We didn't want to alarm you, but at least one of the scumbags has been aboard your ship for some time, and they are carrying information that could destroy the Republic if allowed to reach ground. Oh, that is bad. Very. That is why the government has taken the initiative to have your ship inspected sooner, so that we can find the perpetrator in question and nip this issue in the bud. I assume you will be compliant. Of course. When does the inspector arrive? He's already on his way. ETA 32 hours. Right. Thank you. Oh, and one last thing. Keep your crew distracted, Captain. Whatever it takes, no one can know anything is awry.
Yes, yes, obviously. Right. Well, I have to go. Lots to do being general. But I miss you, old chum. If it wasn't for that motorcycle accident, you would be here with me. Yes, well, you can't change the past, can you? No. No, you can't. Good luck, Captain. You too, General. Reaver, please inform Chief Harmon that the inspection day will be moved up to two days from now. Of course, Captain. Captain Arnold Abernathy wants you to know that the inspection date has been moved up to 32 hours from now. Thank you, dear. Dear? Shut up. No, seriously, I, I want to know, how, how long have you two been in love? Ugh. I'll be back in a moment. Oh, hey, Lane. Uh, what are you up to? Uh, getting moss from the dome. Oh, cool. Uh, can I come? You? In nature? Seriously? Yes, seriously. If you want. I can't promise the plants won't eat you, though. Have a little faith. Hang on. Hey, uh, can we talk? I don't know, can we? Look, Ingrid, I'm not in the mood. Sorry. Can we talk about earlier? About... What happened between us? You know, AJ, I'm kind of busy right now, but uh, catch me later, yeah? Will do. Wait, so will some of the plants actually eat me? Only if you mean to them. Would you like me to scan this chip? Yes. Initializing scan. Files unable to be accessed. Initiating code breaking procedure. Hmm. Audio files retrieved. Fuck. Why am I so nervous? Lane. Lane, lane, lane. It's not like I'm not allowed to move on. I, I, I mean, of course, this is hard on me too, but it's not my responsibility to make sure they're okay anymore. Is it? No, I mean, come on. I I want to move on with, with my life and... Oh, fuck. Play. This is Philip Scott speaking with vital information for the people of Earth. The date is... Ugh, who gives a sh shit. <sighs> That'll do. Uh, excuse me. Coming through. Thank you. Could you, uh... Thanks. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Uh, thanks. Sorry, excuse me, please. So, what's it like on the Pacifica? Do you, um, do you work out a lot? Because, um, <clears throat> well, I mean, um, <clears throat> uh, you're really cute. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It's really just from all the missions, you know? And, uh, you know, you're pretty cute too. <laughs> Thanks, I... Have you seen Lane? S seen them? Uh, no, but they're with AJ in the biolab. <sighs> Thanks. Oh, God. What am I going to do? Oh, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Oh, oh. I'm just going to mess up again. I swear. Everything I do fails miserably. I'm actually terrible at fixing things. <sighs> That's just a lie. Look, Kate, I, 
I'd really like to be more helpful right now, but I'm kind of busy. What? You're never busy. Ah. Hey. Hi. Look, I, I wouldn't ask this if it wasn't important, but can you please come and speak to them with me? No. Oh, come on, please. I said no. I'm busy now, and you should really speak to them alone, but we can talk about it later, okay? <sighs> okay. I have to do this before things go further with Ren, really, don't I? Yeah, I thought you didn't have a crush. Yeah, well, I do now, okay? I like him. A lot. And it's fucking awful, and I can't think about anything else. You happy? Because I'm not. This is horrible. I swear to God, I've never liked anyone like this before. Okay, that's how it's meant to feel when you like someone. <laughs> well, I hate it. Bye, wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. Right, well, I'm gonna go. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, thank you. Coming through, excuse me. Okay, okay, yeah, hold it like that and just place it in the water. Shh, I know, I'm focusing. Clearly. Almost, be careful. Uh-huh. You're doing it wrong. Look, move it a little bit this way uh -huh. and... Oh, um... Lane, um, can I talk to you? Please? Uh-huh. Oh, no, no. Don't worry, nothing's wrong. I just want to catch up. Okay. Right. Well, I'll just leave then. So, uh, you want to sit down? Is everything all right? Yes, really. Please, just sit down. How have you been? Uh, well... Okay. Good. Good. I just... I wanted to say that... I really miss you. I miss you too. Like, I hate not having you there, and I really, really don't want this to be the end of us. I know it's going to be difficult, and seriously, take as much time as you need, and you never need to speak to me again if... I don't want to. I just really hope we can still be friends. I miss you so much. And I do love you. I really do. And it fucking kills me to see you sad. So if there's anything I can do, let me know. And if you ever need space away from me, just shout fuck off and I'll get the message. <laughs> Of course. I really miss you too, and well, I don't know when I'll be ready to be proper friends, but please, let's stop the awkwardness. Yes. And it was a shock to me, but I always knew we weren't going to be together forever. <laughs> please. Ah, did I mention I haven't slept properly in, like, a month? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I know. So, uh, I'm gonna go now, since I'm sort of missing my own party, but, um, see you around? Oh. Uh -huh. Great. <sighs> Reaver, play audio file. This is Philip Scott speaking with vital information for the people of Earth. 
The date is... Oh, I think I could fly. We are. Uh, shh. I can't hear you. Ah! What are you what are you doing? N nothing. Oh my god, I have to tell you. Oh my god, oh, oh my god. <sighs> what happened? What? Tell me. Yeah, I still can't believe it. <sighs> I can't believe it. Uh. What? Run asked me out. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's great. Really, really great. I uh, Good for you. Okay, why are you being so weird? I'm not. Sorry, I, I really am happy for you. I I'm just tired. I have... So much to tell you. We haven't spoken in ages. Can we... Can we talk about it tomorrow? I really do need to get some sleep. Or you could be a good friend. What? I, you've seen how bad my sleep schedule is. I promise we can gossip about Ren tomorrow. Uh, okay, fine. Could you get off of my bed? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, um, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to deck E. I'll see you in the morning. Be quiet when you come back. I will. K, Jacob, Ingrid, Sky, AJ, Lane, Ren. The center of the mutiny, not one of them, completely open with the others. And then, enter Philip Scott. The criminal, the spy, the one who kicked the whole thing off. And, and Ren, Ren just handed a volatile item of brainwashing to K. <laughs> it's all starting, my friend, it's all starting. We better pay close attention from now on. This is the meat of the case, the red bloody flesh, and we're about to sink our knives of justice and law and procedure into them. Let them ooze the black bile of traitors. <clears throat> Today has led to some new questions. How did Ren get Scott's chip? Was he also a member of the terrorist group? Or was he just an innocent bystander? It seems unlikely. Earlier, I thought the only way to figure out how this mutiny happened was to find out the truth. How were they feeling? What did they actually think? Uh, they didn't tell each other anything, but... But of course, we tapped their phone calls, so I checked, but... Nothing. They were no more honest with their parents than with their friends. Now I see the more important, nay, interesting question is this... What didn't they tell each other? What secrets had to be forced out? How did they feel about that? Were they embarrassed? Did they retreat into themselves? What made them upset? Because as we all know, no happy cadet betrays the state. What? It's a common saying. I swear. Oh, shut up. It is. <sighs> It's getting late now, but tomorrow, tomorrow, it's time to have a good swim in these people's mind soup. <sighs> this is Investigator Ezra Barnett, signing off on day five of case 721. Long live the Republic. This episode featured an order of appearance. Willow Smith as Kay Harmon, Kat Phelps as Meredith Harmon, Chris Rogers as AJ Allar, Emily Burtwistle as Ingrid Vega, Jack Fairweather as Jacob Fields, Cecil Sykes as Ren Scott, Tiani Scarson as Sky Liu, Mads Franklin as The Reaver, Mark Rafael as Captain Arnold Abernathy, Jay Silver as General Kikorian, Lida Byatt as Lane King, Dominic Devlin as Teddy, and Akiva Vita as investigator Ezra Barnett. 
Written by Boudicca Eads and Nolan Eddisford Finley. Directed and produced by Boudicca Eads with sound design by Nolan Eddisford Finley. Music by Mark Trafell, Louis Trafell and Rudy Reeves McHugh. Graphic design by Boudicca Eads.